Hey everyone. Only just some people get in here. Oh, where is everybody? Hey, Speckle Cat, how you doing? So, I have some bad news. Um, hey, Lava, gorgeous queen. I'm okay, just a little stressed. Um, thank you for asking, gorgeous queen. And handsome king, schmuckle cat. Um, I went to the doctor today, the gastro doctor. My follow up I was supposed to do about some months ago, but I put it off because I was being a bad patient. I ain't getting any high gorgeous queen. So, what's doing is the gastro doctor thinks I might have pancreatic cancer. Like, he just said, I don't think it's cancer, but he preferred me to a cancer center. I have to get an upper uh, endoscopy, blood work, MRI, CAT scan, the whole works. And then I got to go to the blood and cancer center, um, doctor. So I'm scared. I am shaking my boots, guys. I'm 36. Like, I am too young to be sick. And I've been sleeping, like, the reason why I haven't been on here. Hi, Hannah Valley, gorgeous queen. Thank you, guys. I need your prayers. The reason why I haven't been on here is because I've been sleeping. I've been sleeping 22 hours a day. I just, I get up to eat and wash myself and take my medications, of course, which my mom helps me with all that stuff. And then I'm right back into bed. Hey, just Valley, gorgeous queen. I'm back. Oh, you miss me. I miss you guys too. Hi, Sarah and Hey, gorgeous queen. I know. I'm scared too, guys. Like I was crying all day today. Like I was passing by like places I used to work. Yeah. I, I sleep all the time. So I don't feel good. My stomach, I'm constantly either throwing up, going to the bathroom. I'm just sick. Sick, 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 sick. And it's not it's not COVID or nothing. It's because it's this pancreatic cancer. I, I'm not, I don't want to say I have it, but all signs are pointing to it. And the doctor was trying to calm me down by saying, I don't think you have it, but he still has is doing all this routine testing. You know, a woman knows when she's sick. Like, so you know when you're sick. And, you know, I'm just saying, I mean, this is besides the point. This is like a moot point that I never got to get married and have babies. But like, I, my health is like number one focus right now. Like, I don't care about that stuff. You know? <laughs> and... I mean, I got to think about now chemo or immunotherapy, what it's going to do to my ovaries and my hair's going to fall out. And I don't know. That's right, Lava. I tried gorgeous queen. She goes, yes, nobody knows your body like you do. Yeah, so I'm only going to be on for about, probably like 40 minutes tonight. Uh, it's all I can really handle. I mean, I can't do tarot card readings anymore. I am just like shot. Like, and uh, hey, Hannah Bell, you're in my thoughts. Hoping for the best. Thank you. God bless you guys. God bless everybody in here. Um, I just feel so sick. Like, I mean, the only positive thing I can see about this, if I had cancer, is that I would lose all this damn weight finally. But, hey, Captain G, how you doing? God bless you. Thank you for the prayers. But that's not, it's not that I don't want, it's, I mean, I want to be healthy, but I know I'm not healthy. I was weak. I have a pool in my back and I fell twice because I was that weak. I couldn't even get up, you know? And it's like, I can't put a smile on my face saying everything's okay when, you know, I'm weak. Hey, Sean. Oh, I see your back. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I could have broke my leg. It was really bad. I mean... I hope I survive this if I have it. I mean, there's not, I don't know. The hematologist, the, the cancer, blood and cancer center is going to break it down for me. Yeah, it was very scary. It's very scary, Hannah, Hannah Bella. Um, uh, by the grace of God, I didn't break my leg, but the way I fell. Thank you, Lava. She says I look very pale and weak. Yeah, I know. I know all I do is sleep. And... <sighs> yeah, my, the storm of my leg healed up, Schmeckle Cat. And so it, it did on my lip. Thank you. So yeah, that's healed up, but I feel very weak. So, so weak. Um, I just, yeah, that's a good news. That's a good thing. Um, thank God for small, small um, things. Hi, Simple Farmer. How you doing? So I just, I just don't understand why my body wants to be sick now. Make sure you eat to help get that strength, to get your strength back. Yeah. I know. I got to eat healthy stuff, you no know, junk food. I got to change my diet. I got to like, but I know I don't feel good. You know, I mean, if lymph nodes are coming back six months and then, hey, Motel Wi-Fi, hey, gorgeous queen, I missed you too. You know, it just isn't fair. I don't know how I'm going to survive this. I don't know how I'm going to be strong enough to survive this. The body pain is unreal. Yeah, Schmeckle Cat goes, we all know what we have to do. It's just doing that is the hard part. Yeah. No, I did change my diet, but I was eating junk for a little bit, Sean, um, when I was off here. Hey, that's why I'm praying for your diagnosis. Thank you. Radio Star goes, hello, long time no see. Miss you, miss you too. I miss you too, Radio Star. I was thinking about you today. So hoping all was well with all of you guys. Yeah, my mom's helping me. She took me to the doctor today. She couldn't go in because of COVID. 
she doesn't have it, but it's a doctor's policy. Um, but she's going to be a long way. She's going to be there for all the testing and everything. When I say that a knock's going to be done and the MRI done, the blood work done, the cancer center done. Uh, Smuggle Queen goes, um, Smuggle Cat goes, sorry. You will make it, Queen. You are a strong Italian woman. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you for saying that. Thank you. You know. Hi, Dark Queen. Hi, Gorgeous Queen. Hi, Queen. I hope you're okay. Well, I received some bad news that I tried try not to cry in the doctor's office that I may have pancreatic cancer. Uh, I have to get, for I have to, all these tests to get done. I mean, it's so much. It's all in my pack book here of all the paperwork and I have to go to a cancer center and everything else. So Lava goes, good. You need lots of support during this extremely hard time. Yeah. I feel so subdued. I just feel like I really need to count my blessings and not want more than what I already have, you know? And when the body gets sick, the body gets sick. And I mistreated my body for so long with bad food. Yes, Radio Set official goes. Well, not only do you have the support of your mom, you also have, this, have your friends online. Thank you. Thank you, Dark Queen, for the prayers. So I figured I should let you guys know what's going on with me. Um, in case anything like serious happened. And that was really serious. I had a, I, I had an Ativan on me in me. Because my psychiatrist, you know, doles it out. So uh that's the that's the only thing that stopped me from crying hysterically today in the doctor's office. I had to take that news. I was like, <gasps> and then the doctor's going, Well, you should consider weight loss surgery. Which is what I would do want to consider, but I make sure I don't have cancer first. So Hannibal, oh thank you for the prayers, Lava and, Do and, and Dark Queen. Hannibal goes, definitely have our love and support. Well, I love you guys too. Thank you. And this is gonna be something that's gonna test me. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna survive it. I mean, my mom thinks it's fatty tissue, but I doubt it, guys. My sugars have been so bad for so long. I mean, now they're getting bad again because I was eating junk, which I'm not going to do. Oh no, I I skipped that, Sean. I skipped the weight loss surgery consult today. I figured this has to come over that because I may have cancer. So you can't get weight loss surgery at the same time you're, you're you're fighting cancer. You can't do that. So I am gonna go back if everything works out. I know cancer, but I doubt it, guys. Why would I feel like this? I'm not making it up. That's what I'm saying. You saying I'm making it up, but I'm sleeping all the damn time. I'm tired. I'm achy, and my stomach's so damn upset. You know, it's no good. You know, I don't want to say I deserve this, but no, I mean nobody deserves to be sick, and I wouldn't wish this on anybody. You know. Um, my weight, I gained four pounds because I was eating crap, but no more eating crap. Hi, Freddie B. How you doing? Thank you for the prayers. So no more me eating crap. That's it. My, my mom said we're not letting no more junk come in the house. And I just got to eat fruits and veggies and stuff I should have been eating for many years. Now I'm 36. The body changes. Good. Thank you. Hannah Bell, this birthday time is hard for me to avoid junk food as well. We'll get back in the swing of healthy eating, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not going to be posting as much on here. I mean, unless I get test results and I find out what's going on. Uh, just because I'm gonna be so weak between everything, and but I just wanted to update you guys, let you know what's going on, and um, you know, well, that's the other thing too. Lava, let's hope it hasn't spread because I hope it's not in my bones. I have a lot of bad bone pain. I don't know how I sleep at night. I just, I just make myself go to sleep. I don't even know how I sleep at night. I mean, I'm on my psych meds, obviously, and my health meds. I make me go to sleep, but I guess that's what does it. <laughs> oh boy, I just can't believe this is going on. I mean. I don't want to put part of my personal information, but it's, this is the size of the packet. Like, this is serious, guys. This is the size of the packet I got today. I'm not, I'm not BSing you. I know this is all the paperwork I got with test results and not test results, but tests I have to do. Why are you telling Lava to be quiet? That's rude. I just didn't show anything. No. Let's go back and file that. That's just a... Okay, you're getting out of here, sir. I want anybody to be rude to my friends. Bye. They're out of here. Sorry about that, Lava. I love you too, uh, Queen Mimbo. Queen, gorgeous queen. So, it's a lot. But I feel like, by the grace of God, I'll be able to get through this. Yeah, thank God they didn't say, oh, it's nothing. So Hannah Bella goes, I'm glad your doctors are being corrected about this at least. Yeah. Well, when my doctor was examining me, I was in a lot of pain. On my stomach area, I'm thinking, oh shit, that's not good. So I'm going to try and stay positive and just try and not, like, have a crying jag every day. But if I need to cry, I'm going to cry. I mean, this is like, I'm only 36 years old. I'm not older. Oh, shit. So Sean goes, my stepfather had pancreatic cancer. He died eight hours of his diagnosis. He was advanced to spread rapidly. Hopefully, you can handle it quickly. I know, hopefully. Thank you, Freddie B. I wish you luck and hope everything works out for the best. Thank you. You know, let's be honest. Like... I always thought I was a good person, but I've wronged people in my past. I'm not going to go into it, but let's just have the focus on this. 
I don't know. Maybe this is my karma. I don't know. Nobody deserves to be sick, though. Unless, you know, they're, like, doing something really bad. I don't, I don't think anybody deserves to be sick. I really wouldn't wish it on anybody. Yeah, it's serious. And I did. I, my, my blood sugar numbers were bad. Very bad. 2017, 2018. I really didn't take care of my diabetes too well. My mom has tried, but I would sneak food. My mom would give me the shots and the pills, but I would sneak food. So it wasn't her fault. Yeah, I know. I hope it hasn't spread either. Well, they'll, they'll, they'll know when they do the test. And all of a sudden, I'm getting these headaches. And I'm just like, shit. So I'm just like, why me? <laughs> you know? Hi, Eddie. Um, yes, my my leg healed up. Thank you for asking. Everything's healed up. My lip, my leg, but not my not my uh, stomach and pancreas and everything else. I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. If you don't take care of your body, or you do the wrong thing, then as far as taking care of your body, health-wise, that's just what happens. You get sick. I mean, look at Nikocado Avocado. I feel bad for him. He broke his ribs because he's eating all that food. No offense, he doesn't deserve it. Nobody deserves to be sick. But if you don't take care of your health, your health won't take care of you. You know? And when my time is up, my time is up with this cancer. I can't just sit here and be like, oh my God. You know? So Hannibal goes, I'm hoping for the best, hope for the best, and prepare for the worst. Yeah. Well. No, I didn't find out, Sean. They'll find out when, when I go to the hematologist center. The, the blood and cancer center. I'm going to have to have them look into it. I don't know, guys. I feel like I look exhausted. Look at me. Like, I just can't get enough sleep. Seriously. I like, I cannot get enough sleep. It's terrible. Like, uh, and I thought I had life so bad. This is worse. Yeah, it stopped. Not, but thanks for asking, Sean. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go in 10 minutes. I'm just so tired. It's not you guys. It's me. It's literally me because I'm sick. So, with, you know, what I have. Asking Sean. Um, yeah. I'm just scared. Well, I guess this is what God wants. You know, I wanted a healthy body. I tried for years and I just couldn't get it. And I should have had that weight loss surgery six years ago. Six years ago, if I would have had that damn weight loss surgery. No, seven years ago. If I would have had that surgery, then I wouldn't be in this, shoe, in this boat right now. I would have never had my goal about it taken out. I would be pretty damn healthy. And I had to be scared because of food. Look where it got me now. I'm pancreatic cancer. Possibly. Possibly. I'm not saying I have it until I know. Don't want to do that. But, you know. All right, guys. I think I'm going to go. It's about 20 minutes. And I need to go lay down for the night and just go to sleep. But I just want to say I love all my friends here that come on here and support me. Um, as soon as I have my first test result, I'll let you guys know. But other than that, I really won't be on here. Um, because I'll just be busy resting. So, hi, Liberty Bella, gorgeous queen. Well, I love seeing you too, Hannah Bella. So, Liberty Bella, I was just telling everybody how I might have pancreatic cancer. I went to my stomach doctor and, yeah, I'm definitely not my peppy self. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Thank you, Lava. Thank you, gorgeous queen. And I hope that you guys are well blessed and take care of your health because you only have one life. So, when you think things are bad, thank you, Liberty Bell. I mean, that's how I'm so sorry. Not that I'm trying to put your problems in a trivial way. When you think things are bad and they tell you you might have cancer, well, maybe things aren't so damn bad. Well, that woke me up today. That's what I learned. Oh, thank you, Hannah Bell. You'll be in my prayers, gorgeous queen. And I'm telling you one thing, though. If I end up cancer-free or no cancer, then it's healthy eating time for the rest of my life. But I don't know, because I don't feel good. So, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know that was a crazy noise, but. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm going to go. I love you all. Y'all have a great night. Take care. And you'll be in my prayers as well for good things to come your way. Amen.